Hey guys, it's me, Koi Crafty, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some more room decor. So, if you guys do like these videos and you are new, consider subscribing. I have lots of art videos and craft videos coming up, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And don't forget to click push notifications as well, so you get notified whenever I post every Friday. So, without further ado, let's get started! For the Spotify song, you will need a pencil and eraser, a fine liner, a fine and ultra fine sharpie, some scissors, tape, some bristol board paper or regular printer paper, a ruler, some plastic, a frame, and some color pencils. So first I'm going to take my plastic and I'm going to measure it out. So I'm going to make mine 7 inches by 8 inches. So I'm going to use my sharpie and ruler to just mark everything out. Once that's done, I'm going to cut it out. And now I'm going to measure the picture for the song. I'm going to be making mine 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. Now I'm going to start pencil drawing the picture in. Once I finish doing that, I'm going to grab my eraser and lightly erase the lines so that they're not as visible. Once that's done, I'm going to grab my fine liner, just draw one line on the picture, and I'm going to use my pencil colors to color in the rest. Now I'm going to take my song, place it face down, going to take the regular scotch tape and just stick a bit in the corner. If too much is showing, then you can cut it with some scissors. And now I'm going to flip it to the front and start writing the song details and other things that you will find on the Spotify song. If you make any mistakes, you can take your eraser and erase them. It works just as well as erasing pencil. Once you finish drawing everything out, you're going to place it in your floating frame. And that's it. For the styrofoam stand, you will need styrofoam, printer paper, a box cutter and scissors, a pencil and eraser, a ruler, and some glue. To start, you're going to cut your styrofoam stand to the length and width that you want. I'm going to make mine 11 by 4 inches. So now I'm going to glue the paper on since it's close to the measurements that I need. If you want this to be neater, you can take your scissors and cut off any excess paper at the back. Mm -hmm. 
For the wall art, you will need watercolor paper, watercolors, a palette, some cups of water, as well as toilet paper or paper towels, and you will work some washi tape, masking tape, or painter's tape, a ruler and exacto knife, as well as some paint brushes. First, I'm going to roughly measure out the washi tape on the paper so I know how long I want my tape to be. I'm just going to rip it off and I'm going to place it on this mat. Then I'm just going to cut it in half. I end up cutting it into thirds later on and I'm just going to tape it on the paper so that the edge is left untouched. And now I'm going to grab this olive green and I'm going to just brush random brush strokes. You can make straight lines, wavy ones, really curved ones, doesn't really matter. And once that's dried, you can take another color. I'm using a yellow ochre and start painting some lines. If you want, you can do the same thing that I'm doing and making the lines cross over so it looks very messy. And you're just going to keep painting different colors that match. So I'm going to be using this burnt sienna color and going over the other ones. For the last one, I'm going to be using a burnt umber and completely painting over the blank spaces. For the sun and moon painting, I'm going to grab a flat paintbrush and start brushing some water on the surface of the paper so that it's completely soaked. Then I'm going to grab this yellow ochre and apply it to the paper very lightly so that it's not very dark. I ended up adding also some yellow medium. And for the second one, I'm going to brush some water on the paper and let it soak there. So. Now I'm going to grab a nice light pink, brush it on, and I'm going to also add some burnt sienna to the mix. Once both of those have dried, I'm going to take a small round brush. I'm going to grab this yellow ochre and apply it to the paper. I'm going to make this hill. For the second one, I'm going to grab this pink and apply another hill too pink paper and I'm going to let that dry. Once both of those have dried, I'm going to take a darker color. I'm going to just use a mixture of the burnt umber and yellow ochre and I'm going to paint the mountain leaving a small gap from the one below it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other painting as well. For the second mountain on this one, I'm going to be using a mixture of the pink, burnt sienna, and a bit of burnt umber as well. Once the second layer has dried, I'm going to take a burnt umber and paint the last mountain. For the third layer, of this painting, I'm going to be using a burnt sienna. Now I'm going to be painting a sun on this painting, so I'm going to just draw a circle in the center 
and I'm going to be using a mixture of this yellow ochre and I ended up adding a yellow medium as well and for this painting I'm going to be painting a moon so I'm using a burnt umber So that is it for this video. If you guys did like it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give me a thumbs down. Please do let me know how you feel. And if you have any feedback, comments, or suggestions, make sure to do so in the comment section down below. If you are new, do consider subscribing to join the Kwai family. I have lots of lots more art and craft videos to come out in the future. So yeah. I hope to see you guys in my next video, and don't forget to be kind and be kawaii. Bye!